Hi, my name is Kyle Roberts. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer here at F5. Today we're going to demonstrate F5's distributed cloud client side defense. We'll discuss what it is, why it exists, and how we're solving the problem. It's no secret that today's threat landscape is changing faster than ever before. Threat actors are leveraging digital methods of what used to be physical forms of theft, and many of these attacks are running client side in the browser and flying under the radar of most security controls. You might recognize many of these headlines and attack vectors as threat actors have seen large opportunity leading to the rise of client side attacks. Many organizations have a large blind spot in the supply chain ecosystem, with many different scripts embedded into their sites from third parties. These third parties themselves often depend on another set of third party libraries, jQuery for example, making it extremely hard to track and secure the supply chain of client side JavaScript code. Criminals are leveraging this lack of visibility to their advantage and compromising e-commerce platform accounts, code repositories, S3 buckets, and other methods of injecting malicious scripts into the supply chain that these web pages rely on. This results in PII harvesting, payment card skimming, credential theft, and data exfiltration of other sensitive information entered by the user. These attacks are often generically referred to as mage card attacks. While existing security controls are crucially important to help reduce the attack surface for the web application using next-gen firewalls, WAFs, bot defense, and other controls, since client-side attacks such as MageCart skim form data from the client browser and send directly to the attacker domain, it bypasses the web application's enterprise defenses and requires client-side monitoring and security in the browser. Now let's have a quick look at the demo environment for a preview of what we'll be showing today. Our F5 client-side defense demo will start out by onboarding the application to the F5 distributed cloud client-side defense console. Then we'll look at our demo application and observe the behavior of a MageCart style malicious JavaScript. Then we'll go back to the console to get visibility into the threat and use the mitigate action to resolve the threat and stop the attack. Getting started with F5 distributed cloud client-side defense is extremely easy using our self-service portal. After signup has been completed, you'll land on the homepage of the distributed cloud platform. From here, we can see the client side defense service. Let's click on the icon to access it. Inside of the client side defense console, we can see the configuration menu. This is where we'll begin our configuration by adding the domain of the pages that we're protecting. Since the client side defense solution is JavaScript based, let's copy our JavaScript and inject it into the head tag of our application. Once this step is complete, malicious third-party scripts for your pages will be detected and reported in the console. Now let's verify that our application has been onboarded correctly by validating the URI of our protected page with the test.js injection button. We can see the JavaScript is successfully being detected. Now let's look at our alert notification options for F5 Distributed Cloud. By navigating to Audit Logs and Alerts, we can see that there is an alert receiver already configured with a type of email sending to our account email address. If we edit this configuration, we can see the other alert receiver options. We see Slack, PagerDuty, SMS, and others as well. Now let's have a look at our web application. On the left, we have our protected application. On our right, we have Chrome Dev Tools. And the attacker console on the bottom is a live debug of our MageCart command and control server. If we look at the Chrome Dev Tools to inspect the code, we can see the client side defense JavaScript here. The script you see here in green is actually commented out but included in the demo for visibility. The actual script is using jQuery to pull the libraries down from the CSD MageCart.net URL. jQuery is a JavaScript library developed to simplify the client side scripting. It allows the web page to remain lightweight. This is one example of how the JavaScript supply chain starts to use second and third party libraries. In this scenario, we're simulating a threat actor that has performed account takeover on the code repository that's hosting our jQuery library. They have inserted their malicious JavaScript and we have no visibility into the behaviors of that script until it's loaded onto the client browser. If we log in like a normal user would and look at the network tab of our dev tools, we can see this data exfiltration being sent to the attacker domain in the HTTP header. If we click on payload, it shows us the exact credentials we just entered for our user login. 
Now if we look at the MageCart command and control server, we can see our outputs coming in real time as they were entered into the login form. Now that we've just run our attack, we see the alert notification in our inbox. Inside of the email are details about the threat and a summary description with the page it was detected on and the suspicious domain ID, along with some other information. Back inside of the CSD monitoring dashboard, we can see the alerts that require action. We can see that there is one domain that needs our attention, which is the csdmagecart.net domain. If we click on the domain, it will give us additional visibility and insights into the domain risk. First, we have a risk score out of 100, details on when we first detected it, and some additional risk indicators. It also specifies the associated JavaScript to investigate as well. This domain level threat context is a very important piece of information, and we do have the option to mitigate this domain directly from this page. Before taking action, let's continue our investigation to learn more about the specific behaviors of this potentially malicious script. The script list view provides customers with the ability to see at a glance which scripts have risk levels that need to be investigated and the types of characteristics or behaviors that might indicate malicious activity. For example, a script that establishes outbound network connections and also performs sensitive form field reads should certainly be looked into further. If we click on the csdmagecart.net script, it will show us a historical view of the script activity. This allows us to take a continuous monitoring approach as we monitor these script behaviors over time to easily detect deviations from normal, regardless of how deep they live in the JavaScript supply chain. We can see the specific high-risk behaviors exhibited by this third-party JavaScript. Network connection to a high-risk domain, csdmagecart.net, sensitive form field read of the email field, and a sensitive form field read of the password field. Now let's take some mitigating action. The form fields tab provides us with visibility into the specific fields that the script is reading and the associated risk level of each. Let's block the script's ability to read these sensitive form fields and validate within our application. Now back in our attack environment, we have blocked the script from reading username and password fields. Now let's validate if credentials are still visible to the script after blocking the form field reads. As we enter our credentials into the application and inspect the payload, we can see that each character is now being represented by the letter A, which we can see in the attacker's server console as well. This tells us that the form fields are successfully being blocked. Now let's go back into the console and add the domain to the block list to prevent all communication with the command and control server. We'll move to the Network tab, click on Actions, and select Add to Mitigate List. Now let's confirm the results in our attack environment. When we load the page and attempt to log in, notice that the exfiltrate XHR requests are no longer being generated, and all input has stopped into our command and control server. We have effectively mitigated the malicious actions of this third-party MageCart script. Since distributed cloud client-side defense is completely self-service, with free usage up to 1 million transactions per month, and a fully licensed paid tier as well, it's very simple to begin blocking these browser-based client-side threats today. Visit f5.com cloud to get started.